So the LA food scene is heating up this morning with several local restaurants all being highlighted. It's not too early for wine, is it? Never no. too early for wine. <laughs> Why not? Why it's not? all part of the taste of the East Side. Case Life Five's Megan Tellis is live in Silver Lake. Oh, someone lucked out, huh? Uh, yeah, hello. When I said wine stop, I'm like, wait, stop number one is that this beautiful wine shop. And you see all of these wines lining the wall, imported, most of them from Europe, one from Spain, that beautiful one with the butterflies. The list goes on and on as to what you can experience here. And again, this is just stop number one on the east side. 15 restaurants, small businesses are part of Taste of the East Side. It kicked off yesterday. It goes through Sunday, so you still have time. What is the point of all of this, right? Well, you, wherever you live in the greater LA area, the IE, the OC, if you're in the Valley, come on out. Experience the East Side of Los Angeles if you haven't in a really long time, or for some people, maybe you never have. Why? Because there are small business owners that need our support so that they can survive, and they bring so much culture and character to the East Side of Los Angeles. They have great stories, like Alvaro here. Thank you so much, Mr. Cardenas. Hello, you, you? I'm doing so good. I didn't realize Wine Stop existed in downtown LA. Now it's popped up over here on Silver Lake off Sunset. Yes. So how's the business been going so far? Well, the pandemic was tough, but yeah. people were drinking during the pandemic. So here we are, <laughs> and we are super happy to be part of uh, Taste of the East Side yeah. this year. This is our second year participating. It benefits the Rose Charlin School and also the Friends of the LA River, which is quite important to keep the river clean. Yeah. Um, this year, we're offering a beautiful selection of three French wines. Ooh. It's a small winery from the south of France that has been in business since the 1800s. Yeah. The same family owned since the 1920s, making organic wines since the 1980s. Yeah. So they make beautiful, uh, traditional, natural, very pretty, elegant French wines. Uh, the package is uh, three bottles. So let's come out live here because the packaging is so beautiful. And I'll tell you, when you come into Wine Stop, I've never met Alvaro here. I walked in and he didn't really eat it. He was just like, hi, welcome to the experience here at Wine Stop. And I felt so comfortable immediately. And the, I'll tell you, the packaging and everything is just so pristine, so pretty to look at. Is that the point? What, what is your mission? Well, I mean, we all like to look at pretty things, yeah, right? That's true. That Thank you, important. honey. You're the oh, most beautiful you. here. Thank you. That's, that's super that's sweet. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, but um, the, the point is also to offer um, everyone um, uh, a good experience, you know? It's, it's, it's wine, it's a beverage that it should be enjoyed mm -hmm. uh, in moderation, of mm -hmm. course. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, the point is to, to make you feel welcome. It's not about attitude. It's not about uh, making wine into an abstract thing. Right. It's about this, just like making it accessible to yeah. everyone. Uh, so this box right here yeah. comes with these three wines and it goes for $60. Yeah. And a portion of that will then go to the two the small business or nonprofits that you talk Absolutely. about. Absolutely. 25% of uh, the profits goes to the two charities, which is the point of this event, the Taste of the East. So we are very proud to participate, and there are over 15, uh, over, actually, or 25 yeah. businesses that are doing this. So this go visit them all. Go, hey, start here with wine. It's never too early for wine. Never. Open seven days a week. Check out the information on your screen right there. If you want to come experience Wine Stop and the other restaurants participating this weekend, again, until tomorrow, East uh, Taste of the East Side, then you can right now. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Small business owner, Latino, part of the LGBTQIA plus community. All the things, again, we are so proud of you. Thank we'll you. send it back to you. Thank you. Oh, what, Megan, Thank hold you. on one second. Megan, what, what's the best bottle of Pinot Noir that the gentleman has? Okay. Take my hand. <laughs> Let's go. What is, the, what is the best bottle of Pinot Noir that oh you have? Oh, We have a Pinot Noir for you. Ooh. This is a beautiful French Pinot Noir. Oh, this is French. the classic. When people want to drink Pinot Noir, I hope they're experiencing something like this. This is, I love this. Lots of cherries, cranberries, it's smooth, silky, mm. elegant. The small farm, also from the south, you can see the farm right here. Everything they do, they're single vineyards, which means that they don't mix the grapes from other plots. Nice. So they just do a, a beautiful single nice. vineyard. Yeah, Pinot so Noir. So it's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's right there in the middle. And how much Mester. is it, just for the there price you point? Go. For the oh, price point? How much is it? This is $30. That's $30. a great price. Yeah. I mean, I look at under $30. He knows how to get the people here.